Okay, so now we're going to install the T4 Pro thermostat. So what's included in this box is a base plate, the thermostat, two batteries, another part for the base plate is a two-part system. One, you mount the base plate and then you put this cover over it to hide the screws. Then you got the electrical connections that snap right onto the base plate. Then you got mounting screws. Also, you got the installation manual and the user information. My goal is to mount this thermostat onto one of these 4x4 boxes with this um, switch cover plate. And um, the reason I want to mount it on here is because I want the wire to be able to go inside this box where it's not flush against the wall being smashed. And then I need one of these little plastic connectors for the thermostat wire. So these old thermostats um, that have mercury in them, you want to dispose of them correctly. So don't just throw them in the garbage. These zone valves only require two wires. They get powered open and then they're spring loaded to shut. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is mount the box. I can use this one screw here, this one anchor. Put a level on here and then we can mark the other ones. Okay, I'm not tightening it down with this impact because I don't want to strip it out. Any extra wire, I like to just wrap it up around the insulation like this and then I can just cut the end of it off. That way, if we ever have a problem, we have a spare wire. Okay, so now my goal is to mount this base directly on top of this cover, like that. And then we'll attach this. I will need access to put in this cover. And then I will need to put in the screws here as well. So I'm going to modify this cover, this base plate. I'm just going to put two little holes, one in each corner so that I can start the screw. And then this will allow me to have a nice solid uh, base uh, for my thermostat to be mounted to. So I'm going to drill right through here. So now I can mount this and get access to my screws. Now I can mount the base cover plate. Just like that. Then I mount the wiring connector. Hangs on the top and then I just push it down. Snaps on like that. And then I can use this gauge to strip the wire. Match that up just like this. Perfect. And then this one I can just match it up to the other wire. Now I'm going to use R and W. Red is the power coming in, which is 24 volts. 
So I just push it in right here. And you see the pin back here, it gets pushed down. Just slide it all the way in till it bottoms out. Tuck this wire back inside like that. And then go to W. And this is for the heat. As soon as it calls for heat, it sends power um, internally through the circuit board out W to energize the zone valve. So I just push these wires down like that. That way they're out of the way. And then I close this box cover. Now I just have to press the thermostat onto this base. And all these little pins that are inside of here, they all line up with the little holes on the thermostat base. Once you line it up, you just push it straight in. Now it's set up. I've already programmed this. Um, if you hadn't seen that, um, I'm going to link it um, somewhere on this video. So I'm going to turn it up. Mode. On. It's set at 70. It should click. Okay, just clicked. Heat on. Now the zone is flashing. Once it's done flashing, it times out and then the valve will open up. Okay, so we got heat. Instead of going below the box like they did before, I ran the wire into this box and then hooked it up on this base. That way it was nice and uh, clean and not smashing the wires and not flexing the base open or up or distorting the, the base. So now uh, we're good to go. I'm going to set. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and um, please stay tuned to more videos and don't forget to subscribe. And smash the like button if you like it.